Hi, my name is Pete Sampson, and I'm the owner and creator of My Music Office, an online way to organize your music program. I'm a band director. I teach every single day, and I created My Music Office because I just really wasn't very happy with what was available on the market to organize my music program online. And since then, we're in 300, over 300 schools in three countries, and things have been going really great because people are getting organized online in a very simple and easy to use manner at a very low cost. I'm going to go ahead and take you on a very quick overview of the different sections of the My Music Office system. And then if you want to see more details about any of these sections, you'll notice there'll be a video available along with this one in this playlist for every single section of the system. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here in the director area. And you'll notice here's the main menu. Our system is broken up into student information, music library, equipment inventory, uniform inventory, financial information, locker database, communication, calendar, and control panel. You'll notice on the left, you can always get to any one of those sections at any time by clicking on the icon on the left. They'll stay there the entire time. So I quickly go through the sections. If I go to student information, you'll see everything is in a list format. If I want to see details about the student, I click on details and those details drop down. If I want to see information about the parents, I click here and the parent information drops down. You'll notice you can have four parents, up to four parents into the system. That way, when you're emailing or contacting them, or if there's, say, there's a stepmom or stepdad in the family, you're able to keep track of that information as well. The quick name, last name, quick tool goes right here where you can click on a name. And now all I'm doing is looking at the one last name I have in the system uh, under P. Or I can go back to show all, and then they're all right here. Okay, this list format is kind of common throughout the entire system to make things easy for you to be able to find. You'll notice across the top, there is a menu for that specific database. Okay, so add new, search, reports, assign, merit points, transfer, and options are all available for the student information area. Some of those you'll see in other systems. Most of them you will, and other ones are unique to this specific database, like merit points. If I go to the equipment area, you'll notice it looks very similar. And if I want to see the details on this alto saxophone, I click on details and there you go. I can see everything from the last five students that played that instrument to be able to enter repair uh, database information, or I can go through and actually just look at all the information I have in. If I happen to want to search for an instrument, I can go here and say, you know what, I want to find that mellophone. Okay, and then look, here are all the mellophones. And I go ahead and drop down here. You can even see you can enter a picture of every single instrument into the database. If I edit by clicking on the, the pencil tool, now I can go through and actually edit that information. Okay, searching, find something quickly. Reports, you can actually print something out, which you can for almost all the databases, be able to put something on paper. So if I want to say a do a quick report of uh, the instruments uh, by student assigned, well, here are the two instruments I have assigned to students in this demonstration account. If I go to the music, er music area, you'll notice that everything, once again, in a nice tight list format. If I want to see the details, I click here, and here they all are. If I click on one of the uh, records here that has a media link, you'll notice the media links are something you can add in where you want to add in, a, say, a YouTube link or an MP3 link online, or even a scan of a score that you've put into your own Google Drive for score study. You can put that into this area as well, and you can be browsing and listening to your music and viewing the score all at the same time without having to leave uh, my music office. You notice, once again, you can jump to a quick title. Uh, by going up here. You can also then search. So let's say I'm searching for music, which is what we do most throughout the year. I want to find a jazz band Latin chart. Well, you know what? Here are all my jazz Latins right here. If I wanted to see when the last time I played Blue Basso was, there's nothing under performance information or last performed. So that means I'm, I'm good to go. And so I can take a listen to it and I can see if it fits my ensemble for this year. If I wanted to go down to Cafe Caliente, once again, I'm still clear to be able to do that. How about CJ Mala Blues? Oh, I played that in the spring of 09. Well, you know what? 11 years ago, I think I'm okay to play it again. So you can find all that information really easily. And you can even do a report by the music performance in the last in reverse order. So I can click here and see all the music that I performed in reverse performance date order. And so you can remember all of the stuff that you've played throughout the years. Because let's be honest, sometimes it's hard to remember. When I go into the uh, locker database, you'll notice that it just lists your lockers. You'll put a locker serial number combination, assign it to a student, which you can all do by clicking on the assign tool, lists every locker you have. All you do is simply choose the student's name from the dropdown and it's done. And then say you want to print out some handouts to be able to give your kids with their locker combinations on it. Well, there you go. All you got to do is cut them up and hand them out. Super easy. Uniforms. You'll notice you can be as detailed or as not detailed as you want. You want to put in a belt? Great. If you want to put in a whole uniform? Great. Here is listed as being bibs. And I can once again assign them to the students. And as you're putting in uh, uniforms or dresses or whatever you want, notice there are about every type of measurement there is possible in the system. And if there's not something there that you're missing, just give me a, give me a holler. Drop me an email uh, and I'll be able to put that in the system for you. 
And once again, you can also take a picture of a dress or a, uni or a piece of uh, uniform equipment that makes uh, it easy to remember what everything is. The financial area, you can keep track of student accounts. And so you notice there's a balance due. The system works on a system of like, a, like an accounts uh, receivable. Okay, and so if I go over here and I click on this student, you'll notice they had a starting balance of $24.45. So there's not much on that student's account. But let's say I look at all the accounts and I see, oh, there's a student that actually has a credit on their account, meaning they've overpaid and they have a credit to go towards their next fee. I click on that statement and you notice there's a lot more information here. It keeps a running total of everything that, that, that a family or student has put on their account. You can then, of course, uh, add a fee to the system where you can then take that fee and assign it to the entire ensemble in one click or to an individual student if you want. So in assigned fees, go down and say, I want to assign something to a student. Choose that student's name. Choose the fee that I want to assign. I'm going to do a Disney trip, payment number one, add it. And now that student, when I go back and look at their account, they're now going to have a fee due of $142.23. You can then, of course, add a payment to their system. You can either add a credit or a payment, or you can even add 10 at once in this nice system where you can go through and say, oh, you know what? It's a credit for a candy sale, and every box was $20, and it was all in cash. And I say I have a whole bunch of kids to do, and then all I have to do is choose the students' names over here and hit enter, and they're all in the system. Super easy. The communication area, you can send uh, email or text messages to uh, anybody in your system. Uh, text messaging is the only not unlimited section of the entire system. I give you a thousand credits uh, to be able to start, which is able to send uh, a, a text message to a, thou a thousand phone numbers. Um, and then uh, you could, of course, emails are completely unlimited. And if you want to buy credits for it, uh, the texting, they're very, very cheap. Um, here under that uh, purchase additional text credits, you'll notice um, it's as, as low as like two cents a, te a text. Very, very, very affordable. But under the uh, email area, you can actually send an email to an entire group. So say I want to send it to an ensemble. Go over here and say I want to send it to the parents of my marching band. I hit, the, hit continue, type my message, and then send. And after I've done that, I can actually go and browse the, uh, the, the report on whether that message has been received. So I can actually go into the uh, manage previously sent emails and I can actually look to see who's received the email, be able to look at all the emails that I've sent. It's a great tool. I'll go into that greater detail when we do the, the more detailed thing on the communication area. The calendar, we have a great online calendar built in here where you can see, you can even put an image attached to the calendar. You can do a web link. You can do a, even a Google map link to where that, where that uh, event is going to take place all within the system here. And then you can even hook it into your Google. You push all of the uh, things in our system to a Google Calendar, or you can even subscribe to our our, syst our calendar through either, say, Google Calendar, iCal, um, iOS Calendar, Outlook, all those ones. I have uh, detailed instructions on how to be able to, to subscribe to your calendar there. And then, of course, the control panel gives you access to all the different areas of your account, like creating family access accounts, where families can go actually go in and log in and, and uh, uh, see the, what they have on their system altogether. So if I go down here to Family Booster Login, You can see this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when you have a, um, a family login. You can see their, their own information. They can view their own statement. They can look up their own locker combination, send you an email, look at all the things assigned to them, view the calendar, all within their, within their login. The other type of login you can create there in the, in the uh, control panel is a login that I really enjoy as a band director, which is called the Booster Volunteer Login. You can have as many of these as you want, and you notice some areas are grayed out. They cannot get into those areas. You can lock them into whatever you want them to have access to or not have access to. And if I click here, notice even delete is X'd out. I can't delete anything out of the system. Of course, you can enable deletions if you want, but that's just a nice way to be able to protect your data. Say you have a student aide that wants to help you out. You can have them go in there and they want to be able to uh, make any, any mistakes by accident. And then the help area. We have the best help area out there. If you want to be able to find answers, we have community forums, we have video tips, we have a complete list of every single page in the entire system is right here. So if I want to go here and find out how do I add new payments to student accounts, well, look, every single screen is completely screen captured and you can see the details of every button in the entire system. I very rarely get emails about how do I do this because all they have to do is go to the home, uh, go to the help section and they can figure it out. 
I really hope you've enjoyed this really quick overview of My Music Office. I think you'll find that it is incredibly easy to use. And once again, at only $1.99 a year at the starting price, that is a, a, just a bargain uh, compared to some of the other systems out there. Matter of fact, if you do three years, you save $100, and you do five years, you save $200. Basically, you get a free year, all for doing multiple years at once. And it comes with a 30-day free trial. You can go online to mymusicoffice.com, go right up to Get Started, type in your information, start an account. That's your account. And then if you like it, you subscribe and it becomes yours permanently. If you don't want it, then it just disappears and there's no risk to you. I don't take any payment from information up front or anything. I really hope you enjoyed my little overview of my music office. If you'd like to see more details on the more specific sections of the system, just go ahead and click on those videos. And if you have any questions at all, webmaster at mymusicoffice.com, and I actually get back to you right away. So please make sure you get in contact with me if you need anything else. Thanks, and have a great rest of the school year.